Boy, it is feeling more spring like out there. We're talking about temperatures into the 50s right now, but taking a look across the region, of course, you can still see in our Car Carbondale camera. We are still, of course, seeing crews battling that fire, but across the most of the region, we are starting to see those clouds coming in from the southwest and going to continue to rise as we go through the afternoon. You can see our Perryville camera starting to see some clouds coming in that way. And the other thing that we're going to notice is the winds picking up. But again, I mentioned those temperatures out there. We actually have 23 days until meteorological spring. So the countdown is on and it's only about 40 ish days until the actual day of spring. And it's really feeling like that out there. So when you step outside, it's a lot warmer than what it has been. Temperatures into those lower and mid 50s. Sykeston sitting at 55 along with Union City. Paducah sitting at 54. So not too bad out there. It's really a pleasant day. So if you have any plans, the thing that we're going to notice again, those clouds coming over, but it's not going to impact our temperatures too much. In fact, it's going to keep us a little bit warmer. Again, still staying until those mid 50s, even by the later evening hours. But we will notice those winds at times. And so for that, our threat checker bar is going up. We will be starting to see some winds gusting at times over 25 miles per hour, especially towards the later half of the evening hours. As we go into our Tuesday, we are going to be tracking some rain showers moving through, still staying on to those gusty winds. As we go into our Wednesday, though, that's where we're going to be tracking some widespread rain. It's not impossible to hear at least a few rumbles of thunder. So over the next few days, of course, today we're going to be seeing temperatures almost into those mid 50s. Winds will continue to gust almost at 25 miles per hour. As we go into Tuesday morning, that's where we're expecting a bit lower temperatures, but still not terrible for it being into February. We're not putting the burr there today. As we go through the next few days, temperatures do stay pretty mild into those mid 50s. As we go into our Friday, though, we're going to be tracking two systems coming through, and that's where we're going to be tracking temperatures going lower. So if you have any plans to do anything, well, plan on that. But we're really telling you to plan on some of the rain showers that will be coming through. More widespread as we go into our Wednesday, dipping down down into Thursday. Another chance for another round going into Friday, but the question might be in what form of precipitation are we talking about? So today clouds do move through. We have a cold front coming in early Tuesday morning. We'll see a few rain showers as we go through the afternoon. Very light for most of us. That'll be out of the way going into Tuesday afternoon. As we go into Wednesday morning, expect those rain showers. We'll expect that warm front to start to lift, warming our temperatures back into those 50s. Could even see some 60s out of that. But we'll be expecting some pretty heavy rain showers at times, maybe even up to two inches possible. So that plays out Wednesday, gets out late evening Wednesday, clear out for Thursday, still seeing some clouds out there. And we do get another system going into late Thursday into early morning Friday. And again, there's still some questions whether or not we do see that rain, maybe some mix way off to the north. And then some of the models are showing into early morning Saturday towards the east. We could actually see some lingering flurries around, but overall we are looking a little clear for the weekend. But there's a lot of changes and some of those systems haven't even formed yet. So there's still a few questions and tracks. Download that Storm Track 3 app on Google Play or the Apple App Store because you'll have the know on the go and something else to know over our 6 to 10 day temperature outlook over February 11th through the 15th. We're talking going to Valentine's Day. Things are definitely going to be warming up a little above average going forward. So we're not really tracking any winter weather for a while. We're still looking at those 50s and 40s going forward, but pretty cloudy as we do go even into next weekend. Hey, you know what? I will take that rain over all that sleet and ice Ugh. that we had because I still have some in my driveway that has not melted yet. No, so. it's all muddy though yeah. too. It's Ugh, gross. Just a mess out there. Yeah. Thanks so much, Emily.